using Arduino as a voltage reader on batteries. So you've got your battery here. We're going to be reading the voltage of Y on batteries. They have a 4.1 volt max, 3.6 volt nominal or normal voltage, and 3 volts at empty. Um, red is positive, black, ground, negative. This is the battery. And this, this battery comes off running this way through R1, which is 5K ohms, which is a resistor. And then it comes to here, and then you connect it to a wire leading to the analog input pin of your Arduino. Here is the Arduino. Here's the A0 analog input pin. And for an analog input pin, 0 to 5 volts is safe and 0 to 20 milliamps is safe. Now, this circuit is called a voltage divider. A voltage divider can be used to make a larger voltage coming from your battery into a voltage small enough for the analog input pin to handle. Um, in this case, with a 4.1 volt maximum, our analog input could handle that even without reducing that voltage, but we have to um, limit the amount of safe current that enters the analog input pin, which is 0 to 20 milliamps tops. So the voltage divider will limit the current. Um, so our R1 is 5k ohms and our R2 is 10k ohms. And you've got this one is the voltage, this is voltage in, this is voltage out, um, and then this is your ground. So ground black minus goes to the ground of the Arduino. Here's the ground. So this is your minus and this is your plus. And some equations to make sure that this 5k ohms and 10k ohms resistors will reduce the total amps getting to the analog input pin properly, you do 4.1 volts divided by 15,000, which is 5K plus 10K. So you add the two resistors. Divided by 15,000 ohms equals 0.27 milliamps. Okay, um, I, I just got scared. 0 to 20 milliamps is safe for the analog input pin. And I was looking at 27 milliamps, and I was like, oh no, that's too high, it has to be under 20. But then I, I it just dawned on me, no, it's 0 0.27 milliamps, so this is not even 1 milliamp. So it's very much safe to read it in your analog input. Also, this voltage divider, because it's making the, the total current or amps that are leaving this battery so tiny, very little current's leaving it, that means it won't be wasting battery power. And that's good because we're, we're using this voltage divider to pull a voltage reading of what the voltage is on our battery to know whether the battery is full, normal, or getting near to empty. And that will enable the Arduino to decide do we need to charge this battery right now or not. And if we are charging it, how long has it been topped out at full? If it's topped out at full, we have to shut it off and stop charging it after it's done fully saturating the charge. You don't want to overcharge, so it will have that on a timer. So it will help b um, for the Arduino and our intelligent charger system to be able to charge batteries intelligently. It needs to know what the voltage of the batteries are. So that's the point of this. Um, voltage to AO pin formula. So how much voltage will be getting to our pin? Well, at 4.1. Well, first I'll say it. the formula is this. Batteries voltage times 10K ohms, which is R2. Okay. Divided by 5K ohms, which is R1, plus 10K ohms, which is R2. So you plug in the numbers. 4.1 volts battery, which is the maximum amount of a lion battery, times 10K ohms. I took off the three zeros at the end of all of them, so I just did 10 divided by 5 plus 10. So it's 4.1 times 10, which is 41, 
divided by 15, which is 2.73. That's, that's when the battery's at its max. The analog input pin will be getting 2.73 volts. And then at nominal or normal voltage, it's 3.6 times 10 divided by 5 plus 10. So that's 36 divided by 15, which is 2.4 volts. And then you've got, when the battery is pretty much empty, 3 times 10 divided by 5 plus 10. So that's 30 divided by 15 which is 2 volts at an empty bet. And if it's between 2 volts and 2.73 volts, it is well within the safe range of 0 to 5 volts for the Arduino analog input pin. 0 to 5 is safe, and 0 to 20 milliamps is safe. So that's all the calculations for my Vidge divider, um, which is part of my Arduino as a voltage reader on batteries. And that's the first step of the Arduino being able to intelligently charge large numbers of batteries. It needs to be able to know what the voltages are of those batteries. If you just send charging current, um, eventually the battery will blow up. So it's very important to monitor that intelligently. Voltage dividers actually aren't as useful as you would think because you're not allowed to just like take a 4 volt battery and or let's say no take a 16 volt um, AC DC converter it outputs 16 volts and use it to power um, the charging of a Lion battery, which has to be charged at like 4.2 volts or whatever. Um, you can't just lower the voltage output of your AC-DC adapter using a voltage divider because all the volts that you're using um, that are passing through the divider as it lessens the voltage output will be filtering through resistors which will experience a heating effect which is going to be a loss of power and I believe that's also dangerous I believe it's dangerous because they'll just get really hot if you run a lot of current through them. Um, so you're supposed to like use a voltage regulator for that type of thing. So pretty much the only known example I even saw for voltage dividers is for checking the voltage of a battery. That's the only example I saw. Let's see. Uses for voltage dividers. I think they might be used for like advanced circuitry stuff too though. Like you would never use a voltage divider on a 7 volt LiPo battery to power a servo motor that is a f like a 3 volt servo motor or something like that. Because that would ge like be a huge amount of heat being produced. So they're just not really designed for that. 